Alright guys, I promised in the tutorial I will be making the tutorial on how to play Half-Life 2, the Wiimote mod. First, what do you need for this to work? First of all, a Wiimote with a nunchuck. Clearly connected to the nunchuck. Okay, just keep this on your desk, okay? Two, you need this sensor bar. Okay, not this one specifically, but what you need is to have some kind of a sensor bar that the Wiimote's IR sensor will be, you know, working. This is basically an IR sensor, so sensor bar, you know, you get it. If you use the Wii, you will get it, okay? Just have one of the sensor bars. If you don't have a sensor bar, you, uh, I guess you can use candles, you know, how they used it in the de back in the day, you know? And also, your PC will require a dongle, a, a Bluetooth dongle, that is. This is a Bluetooth adapter. Um... If you don't have a Bluetooth adapter, make sure you look into which Bluetooth adapter you need to buy because there's like some specific ones that will not work with the Wiimote. Before we install the mod from ModDB page, you should go to your Steam library, go to Tools, and find Source SDK Base 2006. This is required, so make sure that you install it, okay? It's pretty important. Step number one, ladies and gentlemen. Go to your browser and find the ModDB page for Half-Life 2 Wiimote mod. On this slider here, click to Files, and this here is the download link for Half-Life 2 Wiimote Beta. Download now. You can download it quickly here, and then close it, because it's basically supposed to auto-download mod. I'm impatient. After that, go to your downloads and open HL2W Beta 10. This is the installer for the mod. Here you clearly just want to go for the Half-Life 2 Wiimote mod setup wizard, which I agree. Okay, here. You can choose what content not to download because it might because you might not even play it. We will of course leave the Half-Life 2 support. Uh episode Lost Ghost and Episode 1. I guess I can leave those. Mineral Metastasis 2 and Rock 24. I think those are Half-Life 2 mods. So uh, but I don't know. I'm just gonna turn those off since I have don't have these. And now I'm just gonna install. Good. After you install, make sure that you restart Steam by exiting it and then reopening, okay? Alright, our next step is to transfer the game's maps into the mod. Because the, the mod does not seem to find the mod the maps on its own. So we're gonna have to transfer the maps. Once you're on Half-Life 2, you wanna right click the cog or just right click here on the list. Click properties. Go into betas. And... In the beta participation, choose Steam Legacy. It is required that you get the older version of ha the older Steam version of Half Life 2, since something about it being older makes it work with the Wii mode. The new the new version of the Half Life 2 just does not work. It's kind of broken. Be aware, after downgrading and transferring the maps over to the mod, you can bring it back to the 20th anniversary if you're playing fun with, if you're having fun with the developer commentary or just workshop. So now click the cog again, go to manage, browse local files, go to HL2, and this maps file, you want to copy it, control C. Now you have to go to your C drive, program files, uh, the x86 version by the way. Steam, Steam Apps, Source Mods, and HL2 Wii. This is where you want to place your maps, and I mean, yeah. The next step, we are connecting the Wiimote to the PC. If you have your Bluetooth dongle out here, you can just right click it, show Bluetooth devices. You can click on the search bar and look up Bluetooth, then you might also find the same page. While this is the page we get when we click on the Bluetooth devices, what we actually want is the control panel, like the original, we want to use the control panel, since Wiimote would easily connect with the older devices because it's old technology or something like that. The thing is, go to more devices and printer settings. You're supposed to have this page of the control panel. Okay, now this is where we're, we're gonna begin the pairing. You wanna click add a device, and now you can either press one and two on the front, or be safer and open the back and click the red synchronization button on the back. So we click that, hold it a little bit, and we see input device. That might as well change its name in a second. If it doesn't, it's you know it's the Wiimote. So we click the Wiimote. If it's gonna ask for a passcode, you just click next, skipping this passcode requirement. 
It might say it's gonna install necessary files. I don't think it's actually installing any files because it doesn't know what to. But still, you might have to wait a second for it to connect. I just want to go through your Steam library and eventually find Half-Life 2 Wii. This is what the front page of the Half-Life 2 Wii mod looks like. One thing I would recommend before you start the mod. Click, go to the properties of this game. And in the launch options, you can set up the resolution before you have to go in the game, which will, you know, open in a small resolution, maybe an unsupported. So make sure that you put in the resolution that you want by typing dash W space your width of the resolution and then dash H and then the height of your resolution. Now that you have done all these steps, find HL2 Wii in your game's uh, library. Click play. And hope for the best that it works. The man. The man. And here we go. As you can see, the Wiimote mod is finally working. We have two different cursors. Uh, the cursor only works on these buttons. Very Wii-like. Otherwise, everything else has to be done here. IR sensor source type. So we can do... I mean, you could choose basically to just go dual. It doesn't matter which one. Let's do a non-listed. And that should be very simple. It already worked as you saw, so it's not required. So of course you have the basic options of the Wii mode. It's very cool. You point, uh, you can choose. You can see the stick works. The movement of the Wii mode works clearly. You can set how, you can set up how your crosshair looks. This is the default one. We have presets. Whatever this is, Difa. Let's just go with this one for now. We have foot controls here, uh, and that means when you're on foot, and then we have the vehicle controls. I would recommend you look at those the most, because those must be the weirdest in its default state. The tutorial. The tutorial does not work. Even if, if you force yourself into it by going into the console... Even if you force yourself into it by going into the console map, we training. This is the tutorial map. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Okay. Uh, again, as you can see, we're in a map. If I pick up that crowbar, go into that room, or come up to this guy right here, the tutorial prompts are gonna come up, and that's what's gonna happen to crash. Just like that. So, sadly, there will be no tutorial for you. But I can guarantee you, you can learn the game on your own. But I can guarantee you, the main game works, and so do the, contr so do the controls. But therefore, if you click new game, start a new game, the game should entirely work. As you can see. But as you can see, everything else works here. Dog. So yeah, here everything else works, it's fine. We have different controls. It all works, so thank you so much, enjoy your game.